very familiar with addition, subtraction, and multiplication tables. From see, you say that the main difference is we have two years of kindergarten in India, lower kindergarten and upper kindergarten. In lower kindergarten, a kid as soon as he comes, he learns to count one through hundred, ascending and descending. The entire year, that's all he learns. And same happens for English alphabet and other languages. We are not talking about them. One year, all he does is he can count 1 through 100, write 1 through 100 in ascending and descending order. Upper kindergarten, addition tables and subtraction tables, whether they understand or not, they recite. 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 2, 4, and all that. They recite. Go, go on up to 20 or 25. And multiplication tables. Whether you like it or not, all the students have to say multiplication table 1 through 16, ascending and descending. Descending means you say 16 times 10, 160, 16 times 10, 144, and so on and so forth. What is, see, the analogy I am going to give, them, it may not be a real uh, uh, valid analogy, just that occurs to me as I am talking. The reason is, here whenever I have said that, lot of, uh, that makes kids stupid, they have to compute, they have to know how to multiply. I am going to tell you the advantages of that. Let, let's talk about a simple analogy back. The one of the very first things as a kid you are bound to teach you is, to brush your teeth twice. Kid may not understand the necessity of that. Do we tell the kid instead, okay, you first to become a dental hygienist, <laughs> you understand everything about it, and then you will do it on your own. We don't say that. So they they brush and then they may become at some point dental hygienist or read about it, and then both of them will <coughs> gel together. And then they, they will they will never stop brushing the teeth. 